Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be looking at one of the craziest arena matches I've ever had in New World. This one actually came down to the wire every single round. You can see here the flames are starting to come in, healing starting to be reduced, and I'll tell you exactly why this is happening. We have two healers on my team, and I'm playing Fire Staff Rapier, which usually requires somebody else to lock down healers for us to kill them. So they have one healer, we have two healers. They're doing a bad job at killing our, our either one of our healers, really, but that's obviously because we have so many heals. But you can see here, we're down, like I said, to the wire. There's going to be no circle here in a second, and we're gonna have a great chance of winning just because I am able to get a double repost and do some damage right at the end of the round. So that's huge. One thing I've learned throughout this arena little scramble here, you can see the fire's coming in on round two already. Uh, one thing I learned though, is that if you come down to the final little bit, you wanna do heavy attacks and save your repost for the final circle. And I mean like when it's really, really small. I didn't learn that, I don't think this round, so you'll see, I think I don't do it this round as this round is a unfortunate uh, ending here, but we can see that there's a lot of healing reduction just because this guy in front is not healing near as much as he was before. Obviously they have a void gauntlet, they have a healer, we have two healers and a void gauntlet on my team. But my healers are getting chunked this time around. It's not looking too good. We have one actually outside in the fire trying to avoid contact. Here I need to start doing heavy attacks and holding my repost. I don't, unfortunately, bad play. And uh, I do a repost for nothing at the very, very end while this guy does heals. It's a very, very close outcome though. Probably one more tick of that fire I would have tied. And I don't know what happens in a tie scenario, to be honest. I don't know if that's ever happened. Comment below, by the way, if you've ever seen or heard of a tie in arena, I don't really know what happens. I would assume, uh, I actually have no assumption on what happens there. I, I kind of want to see that happen now. But you can see here, Fire Staff and Rapier, like I said, it's probably one of the worst builds for actually locking down a healer because healers are typically not going to attack you anyway. However, right there, we're able to combo Captain James Duck out very, very early in this round. And I know it's not early because the flames are already coming in, but that's early in most cases because, uh, you know, these have been going down to the wire every single time. You can see here, so we should have a good W because it's a 2v3, right? But the big thing is, is healers aren't doing much other than healing, and the healing reduction, when it gets down to that small of a circle, is pretty useless. So it comes down to a very, very close fight yet again, and I'll let you guys kind of just sit here and watch the rest of this one because there's really not much to say. The biggest thing, though, is I should be using heavy attacks on the rapier, and I, that was probably a terrible burnout. I mean, I took a lot of damage. Good thing I have two healers, so it doesn't really matter. But I should be heavy attacking people out of the circle. So let's see if I can do that. I am keeping this guy out of the circle really well. Um, heavy attacking him out of the circle now, and he cannot get back in. It's just a very, very strong way to keep people out of that middle circle when everything else is just, you know, continuously ticking you for damage. Here is round four. Round four is just a little bit different this time. I believe we lose somebody early. I don't know for sure if we do or not, but I actually come very, very low many times during this these fights just because I'm trying to risk it a little bit. I know if I pot myself, I'm never going to kill him. So I'm trying to risk it a little bit by not potting, and I get really low some, some of these times going for those uh, kind of executes. But it's just so hard to stay on this healer as well. You can see here I'm trying to get on the healer. Obviously he reposts and then I repost back and then he's already out of there just dodge rolling away. So it's a very, very difficult place. Uh, you know, life staff users are just so, so strong right now with the rapier light, uh, light build that they've all been going. I think it's probably yeah, obviously an S tier. If we do a PvP tier list soon, we are definitely going to be stacking that life staff up top of the S tier, uh, you know, other weapons of S tier at the very least. But here you can see I've got a repost, so I'm going to walk away from that guy, let him be. That's one of the biggest things as well. If you repost a healer and you know you're not going to be able to take him out, typically it's good to just leave that healer sitting there for two seconds. If you have a team that will actually listen to you, you repost or do any CC to a healer and he's just standing there, right, and he can't do anything as our teammate goes down, so now it's a 2v3. But if you repost a healer and you know you're not going to be able to kill him, the best thing to do is to leave him there and try to chunk one of their squishier players before he can revive. Uh, or not revive, but, you know, come back to life. So it's just one of those things. Also, my, my rapier does have a rend when it reposts, so I'm trying to focus on the people I do repost typically. Uh, but, you know, it's right here is just where it's the end of me. I got stuck in a corner. It's a 3v1. There's really nothing to be really done in that scenario. You can see the damage dealt, by the way, right now. I think this is probably going to be the highest round of damage I've ever done altogether. I have a really rough round five, though, so I'll let you guys watch this one. Let me know down in the comments what your guys' thoughts are on Arena, what 
what needs to change. So uh, I, I'm trying to kill the healers to tell me to kill a healer. Obviously, it's a very difficult thing to do with the rapier fire staff with literally no CC besides repost. And that healer is not typically attacking me, so I have to use somebody else's attack to repost the healer, which is very, very hard to do. So, thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. This was one of the most fun arenas I had, but also one of the probably most annoying arenas I had, because this is one that I would not want to do many times over. You can see we almost killed the healer there. I tried so hard to stay on top of him, but he does get away, and it's pretty much a full reset at this point. But like I said, you guys, I'll let you watch in peace. This was a lot of fun. Thanks again for tuning in. I'll see you all in the next one.